Today, we're gonna to be taking a deeper look into who Jody Hildebrandt is exactly, because we know a lot about Ruby Frank, but we don't know really too much about Jody and where she came from. Or at least I haven't made a video talking about it and really taking a deep dive into her and where she came from. And I'd like to do that in this video. So let's jump straight into it. And it turns out there's a website with a bunch of Jody Hildebrandt information. And we're gonna take a look at that. Jody Hildebrandt is an author, life coach, and the founder and creator of the Connections Classroom based in Orem, Utah. And you may or may not know that Jody ran a YouTube channel called Connections. And on this YouTube channel, you would often see Jody and Ruby together talking about how to take care of your kids and a variety of other off the wall beliefs. And Jody took her Connections project very serious. So serious she had uh, a membership called Empowering Joy Membership. This was $21 a month. Join the Empowering Joy community live on Zoom every Saturday, 7 to 8 a.m. Get 24 access to Connections Digital Library, which includes 50 plus videos of Jody's live training sessions, retreats, and a self-care digital course. And then she had another program that was men's and women's teams, $75 a week for three months. Meet with a group of men or women for 90 minutes each week to empower each other to heal and change. Jody Hildebrandt MS moderates each team and provides live training and feedback on your immediate situation and needs. Or you could just get one-on-one -on -one training with Jody for a whopping $181 a session. Meet with Jody one on one for 50 minutes to get a personal help and feedback on your unique situation and needs. And Jody saw herself as someone that was empowering people, giving people the truth, helping them figure out how to get through life and solve their problems. Her bio on her website says, Are you ready to feel empowered? Hello, I'm Jody Hildebrandt, MS, your mental fitness and relationship expert. I have spent over 25 years working with people just like you to help facilitate positive and powerful change. I began practicing in the psychotherapy world and my patients were not healing. When I began empowering people by educating them with principles of truth, learning to be honest, responsible, and humble, I saw my patients radically change right in front of me. You don't have to be a victim of your circumstance or the people around you. You can have the life you want, but you must dispose of distortions, ugly lies in order to live in truth, connection, and freedom. Start your training with connections to work on the foundations necessary to uncover the truth. You have the power to make positive and long lasting changes that can transform your life and completely change the path you're on. Welcome to Connections. I'm Jody Hildebrandt. So glad you're with us. If you're like me, you've had pain in your life. It could be from a divorce, work conflicts, relationship issues with children, grandchildren, spouse, anxiety, depression, or fear that you don't understand, feelings that you're not enough or that you're unlovable. Connections is the solution. You can change. You can experience feelings of being whole, centered, liberated, connected, empowered, and free. Come and see for yourself. There's something here for you. So yeah, she's trying to sell you something, something which is her truth and not the truth that you want to be sold. And below that video on her website, she goes on to tell her story. And this is what it says. My style is compassionate yet direct and clear of what is necessary to fully change and champion any addictive or self-destructive behavior, whether it be ravenous addictions, feelings of worthlessness or inadequacy, conflicts in relationships, intimacy problems, communication breakdowns, and frankly, any block that prevents having and creating peace and joy. It's funny that she says this because I don't think she was being compassionate when she said this. Okay, I fear that he may have become corrupted, particularly the app TikTok that I hear from other women in my church is propagating homosexual lifestyle. Yes, that's true, it is. I hold myself partly to blame for this as I allowed him free access to his smartphone since age 15. Oh, mom. So you said I feel partly to blame. This isn't about blame. Blame's not gonna help you. You are culpable, you are responsible. You put into that boy's hand something very dangerous, much more dangerous than a weapon, much more dangerous than a gun. You know, people say, well, guns kill. Well, 
Well, cell phones will kill you spiritually. Or maybe she was being compassionate and sees being gay as a self-destructive behavior, which I don't think I need to say this, but is wrong on so many levels. I have canceled thousands of individuals and families of all ages and situations with my unique style and of educating about the power of choice and the need for impeccable honesty, rigorous responsibility, and vulnerable humility the which have empowered souls to heal and grow. I love to work with people and see them change. I'm very passionate about this work and seeing it go throughout the world. I look forward to working with you and seeing you find peace, happiness, and freedom in your life. I received my bachelor's of art degree in English and my graduate work in educational psychology, earning a master's of science. I began working at Cirque Lodge, which was at the time growing up to be a national and now internationally known drug and alcohol treatment center. So before this, she was actually an addiction counselor and and she got into a little bit of trouble in that area, but we'll take a step back first and finish this. Following my time at Cirque, I designed and wrote the curriculum for Connections classes, master class, parenting, principles, and group to help treat those lost and stranded in the darkness of distortion which addiction, fear, sadness, and all other self-destructive behaviors derive from. I currently teach several classes a week. As for materials, I have written 24 workbooks and produced 22 DVDs supporting the Connections curriculum with more on the way. Over 100 free podcasts have been produced in two years and have been over 1 billion downloads in 23 different countries Simple, simply by word of mouth. With the creation of ConnectionsClassroom.com, the facilitation of knowledge has never been easier for people to self-educate about these core truths. So now you know who Jody wants you to think who she is. Let's find out who she really is. So a lot of her experience came from working at this Cirque Lodge where she was an addiction counselor. In fact, the curriculum is strongly based on her five years of experience working there. And she even had her license put on probation. Jody had her license put on probation by the Utah Clinical Mental Health Counselor Licensing Board for 18 months, effective January 25th, 2012. And here is an article that's summarized, and we're going to take a look at it. A PRN addiction therapist has been reprimanded by the state for discussing a patient without his permission with his LDS church leaders and Birmingham Young University. All the claims made by Jody were false. The man asserts by they led to his loss of privileges in the church and his ejection from BYU. She just lied whenever she went to further an agenda to destroy my life, said the man who objected to bills that were as high as 2000 a month. We came there for a marriage counseling and she pulled us into her C-O-R-N marathon. Hildy Brent, a professional counselor, is on probation for 18 months and must meet 22 conditions or she could lose her license. She spent hardly any time knowing about my life, he said. She didn't want to talk about my personal goals or my progress. She would only threaten me that if I didn't take more sessions and have my wife take more sessions, the alleged addiction would destroy my life. In addition, while Hilda Brandt was providing therapy to Jane Doe, she allowed the woman to work in her clinic without documentation whether she had given the patient information about the benefits of risk of blurring their therapeutic relationship. So she let this man's wife work in that clinic even though they were there for marriage counseling. In 2008, Hildebrandt provided therapy to a married couple identified as DOPL only as John and Jane Doe who later divorced. John Doe said he did not have an addiction issue, and once he began to question Hildebrandt's therapy, which cost $1,200 to $2,000 a month, his personal life started to unravel. He believes Hildebrandt was using his marriage as leverage for me to pay for everything. On or about March 11, 2009, respondent without having received signed authorizations or any other type of permission from John Doe disclosed sensitive confidential information about John Doe, including a medical diagnosis with administrators at the university located in Utah. The disclosure of the information was detrimental to John Doe and not in John Doe's best interest. And eventually her license is taken off probation and she is reinstated. So she was basically trying to get more money out of a situation and not really caring about the clients. She was just focused on the money and that's pretty much it. She didn't care about anything else. She was willing to ruin somebody's life. 
over this. Fast forward and then she's doing the connections thing and a lot of people leave reviews about it and this is what they have to say. I would like to leave a review for others as a warning to avoid Jody Hildebrandt and her teaching and philosophy at all costs. It cost me a marriage and she used a shaming me and the others in the group I attended as control. My former wife and I had our issues, but it wasn't until we had individual sessions that these distortions she said were there turned into distortions that cost a marriage and divided a family. I once had a billing issue regarding the time of session. She would frequently call me from her car with spotty service and our conversation would drop sometimes up to 10 to 15 minutes. Yet she was charging me for the full session. When I approached her about it, she blew up and started yelling and accused me of trying to get more session time that I paid for. You know, it really sounds like Jody needs to be the one that needs to have therapy here. There is not one good thing about her program. It should be investigated for fraud and misconduct. I would refer to her as Satan and Saints Clothing. I would be spending as much effort that I can to warning people about her distortion and shame she puts on others. And that's just the tip of the iceberg because there is a lot of people that reviewed about this warning people not to take her course or even go near this lady. And by the way, if you want to check out this website, I will have a link down below in my description so you can go through and read all these reviews because it's pretty crazy. I can't believe that she was doing this for so long and never got investigated, honestly. It's funny because one of her core principles is impeccable honesty. It's pretty clear this is not an honest woman. We can tell from her actions and how she's treating all of her clients. In addition to Connections 101 classroom, students are, are encouraged to attend group, which is a weekly meeting with Jody and other students to discuss in a more intimate setting how they were in distortion the following week. They are encouraged to call people in their group when they find themselves in distortion during the week. The revenue from these groups and Connections classes is conservatively estimated to extend 30000 a month. So she was making a lot of money pushing these people towards these groups, these classes, and not really even caring about them. From what all the reviews have said, it just seems like it's pretty obvious that it was just all about the money and maybe even a little bit more. Maybe she had some kind of evil thing that she enjoyed about it. In fact, Jody often remarks that and relishes the fact that people either love me or hate me for what I am teaching. Students, she has convinced that her way to connecting relationships is the one and true way, love her. The people that her teachings are being applied to usually hate her. They are told they are emotionally and verbally abusive, an addict of all kinds of things, codependent in the relationship, in distortion, not humble, not impeccably honest, and not rigorously responsibly. Her spouse, friend, or associate has changed over the course of a few weeks, and they are now the main problem in the relationship. Unless they change and learn these new skills from Jody, they will be cut off in the relationship. New physical and emotional boundaries will be put in place anytime they or their support group deem you are in distortion. So basically, if you don't agree with her, you're a bag of all kinds of bad things. And that's what leads us to the current moment where Jody and Ruby Frank were arrested for CA. And given all the current information we have right now, it looks like they're both being arrested for the same thing. Um, there has been no update recently on any new charges that have been added or any new news that has came come out. But if new news does come out, I will update you guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope it educated you in some way on the brief background of who Jody Hildebrandt is. If you haven't subscribed yet, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Leave a comment down below and leave a thumbs up on the video. If you made it all the way to the end of this video, thank you so much for watching this far. I appreciate you. Hope you're having a fantastic day. And I'll see you in the next video. Peace out.